Hello everyone, welcome to another class of the Cherry Top Crafts. I'm Rachel. And I'm Jessica, and today we are talking about foil. foil. Yes, we are going to foil all the things. Yes, so today we'll be using uh, foil flakes and foil sheets. And there's so many different techniques yeah. for these. Yeah, um, so we're going to kind of go through, just go through yeah. a bunch of different things. Yeah, yeah. show yeah. some of our favorites. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, let us know. Have you been foiling anything either with the sheets or the flakes are or, you scared to foil yeah also share like what your favorite foil yeah. technique is or what's the favorite one that we're showing you that you're going to try out yes um, and um if you've never used the flakes before just so you know it is messy you will yeah. find foil flakes all over yeah but, but it's they're worth so it. fun they're it's worth so it. fun yeah they add just that you know that finishing touch mm -hmm. that little mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can probably hear Ava in the background. Hi, Ava. <laughs> He's very excited for foil. <laughs> well, it's shiny, of it's course. It's shiny, yes. Okay, let's get started. Um, I'm going to get out some sheets here ready to go. So there are a lot of different brands of foiling sheets. We, we have, I don't know what we have. We have a few different things here. Yeah. Sizzix. Got some Sizzix, have some We Are Memory Keeper that goes with the foil quill. Oh, I left the foil quill plugged in over there. Where? Over there. In the computer. <laughs> the little knob thing. Did someone did that. <laughs> so we can foil use the foil quill. in the computer. It's white on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Okay. Got that. Got that. That goes with the foil um. quill. And oh yeah, the um, um the color uh, port paints. Yeah. That line they have um some paint mixins. So these are just little foil flakes. But I love the colors they come in. Right. We have gold and like rose gold, pink and red and green and I mean anything you want. Oh, I yeah. love these ones. So these are actually smaller, mm -hmm. um, but they're still really easy to work with. Mm -hmm. Like you just kind of sprinkle them on. So I like them. So. So it depends what kind of look you want. If you want more, um, I guess more of an area foiled, I would use the sheets. And if you want, I guess, smaller things, yeah. maybe go with the flakes. Yeah. I'm trying to decide what Depending I want to do what first. You do. I have a lot of foil techniques in my head. I'm going to start warming, I know. Up, warming up this. Warm that up, yeah. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do too. Um, so this is the foil quill. It's got a few different tips. I'm heating up the medium tip right now, mm -hmm. but while that heats up, I'm I was gonna going foil to do... some embellishments. Oh, just because why not? Um, where do I begin? I'm going to start. Well, we have some. What am I gonna go for? Let's go for the sticky embossing powder. I'm gonna go for some sticky embossing powder. Did you grab stamps? Can I have some of those? Yeah. Stamps? Okay. Stamps. Maybe I'll use I like a should be more organized here. No. Oh, we're we're just everyone. like brainstorming and just gathering yeah. everything yeah, that we supplies. were brainstorming. Yes. And then I'll also need scissors the heat that we gun. will lose. Okay, so this is sticky embossing powder. Thank you. And I'm going to first use the embossing ink pad, and like you would normally use embossing powder. So just stamp it. Throw the stamp. Throw the stamp around. Uh, add some of this sticky embossing powder. And the nice thing with this is that it's like it says, it's sticky once it's dry or once you set it on there. Yeah. Yeah, now some colors because I kind of want to see them. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Obviously, I'm going to do gold because I love gold, but also rose gold. And I like doing this technique on black because you can see it first. It's white. And then I'm going to heat set it until it's clear. You don't want to overly heat it because mm -hmm. it'll start to take away from the sticky. You can kind of see it, and there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. What um, foiling foil are you going to use? Ooh, maybe I'll use 
Silver. Oh, I love the silver. That yeah. Look nice and black. I like this one because it has gold and silver. Yeah. In it. You can see that. And just put some this of these on Prima. there. They have yeah, they have a lot of colors. And actually, <laughs> in their new release, they oh, are getting okay. a lot more mm -hmm. colors. Yes. Like Close. colorful colors. Okay. Mm. Glue. There we go. I'm putting the extra back in here. Mm -hmm. yes. And then I'm always save the extra. Just going to take a dry brush. I don't see foil flake. Yeah, it's already started. <laughs> oh, yes. There it is. And there it is. Pretty. Oh, I breathed. Don't breathe. Don't sneeze. And there's yes. that. So I can put these extras back in there a little bit. <laughs> and look at there. Yes. I so, yeah. So that was using the, the sticky, embossing. The embossing with the sticky powder. With the sticky powder. Where'd it go? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I like that. So if you use just regular embossing powder, like, it's not going to really stick on there. Next, I'll show really. technique with the regular. I'm going to use... The gilding glue. This is the Prima gilding glue. It's specifically made to do foiling. Um, and I'm just kind of going to glue sporadically on these different ephemera pieces. And then I'm going to flake. I'm going to, what do you want to call it? I'm going to foil it. Flake foil it. So with this glue, you want to wait for it to dry a tiny bit. Um, want it to be like tacky, so not like right. You don't want it to dry all the way. No, or do you? Well, you do want it to dry all the way, but it's still it, like it's tacky, a tacky this, when dry. Yeah, this glue is still tacky when dry. That's right. I have used other glue, and it works okay. You just yeah. don't wait for it to dry all the way. But this glue is made specifically for it. And so I'm just gonna do this butterfly. I'm kind of doing some lines here. And I'm using, um, you can use Catherine Cooler inks as embossing ink. Or, um, um, yes, so then you'll have, yeah, so you'll have a little color behind there because, yeah, they stay wet for so long. Mm -hmm. So I first did my couple flowers with the Catherine Cooler ink and I put some clear embossing powder over them. Now I'm going to heat set it. And I'm doing this leaf one. I'm just kind of sporadically putting this on. This pack has a lot in here. Oh, actually, this technique. could do a lady. Lady head. I just find those so funny. Those are funny, and the giant man, too. Yeah. Oh, here's the man. Yeah, I know. I uh, I keep saying I want to use them, but I never do. I know. And then I don't know what to use them with. Hmm. Oh, I like this little paint tube. Oh yeah, that's cute. So I think we got comments up. Um, so if you are watching, go ahead and comment so we know that they're working. Okay. This one I'm gonna glue. So let us know, have you ever tried foiling anything with the foil sheets, foil flakes? What has been your foiling experience? I love the foil. Is it too messy? Is it too messy? Hi, Susan. Glad you're watching. It's kind of... Gluing around things. I'm kind of gluing around my floral here. I'm using, this is a Nouveau glue pen, and I'm pressing down the nib just so the mm. glue can start flowing to it. This is a new one, so it just takes a minute. I'm just gluing, waiting for this to dry that I can add. 
And why I used already. the embossing pow powder with this, the clear embossing powder, is it makes it easier when I start adding this glue mm. to not glue over all of that mm -hmm. and kind of stay in the lines a little bit better. Yeah, that's helpful. And it just pops it out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Makes it easier. What else should I glue while I have it out? All the things. Hmm. Okay. So, like I said, this is a tacky one dry glue stick. So I'm going to let this dry. Maybe I'll speed it along a little bit. That might be okay. And I'll use a color. Maybe pink. That should show up nice. I, I'm getting foil on my clothes, or I haven't even opened a foil yet. This is all coming from you. <laughs> uh, also, don't turn on any heat guns around your foil flakes because, you know, they'll just go everywhere. <laughs> like an open container, make sure they're closed. All right, they're all closed. I'm just going to try to speed up the drying process here. Okay, so there is that kind. I really like this type of style. Like if you have a easier thing to trace around like this, mm -hmm. these letters. So then there's another type of foiling. Next, I want to show my, probably my favorite because I can't wait any longer. Yeah, what's your favorite? With embossing oh. uh, folders and then adding some uh, some foil just to the top surfaces of it. Mm -hmm. so, I'm going to do my butterfly with this pinkish gold. Maybe I'll do this. I'm going to send this through. Just adding it on my fingers. Apparently I've already used this a lot because there's not a ton of my clues. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I haven't used a lot of color too. You always close your container. <laughs> Gold. It's also nice, like, well, since it's so messy, when you do have it out, you should just foil all the things right there. <laughs> Might as do well. it all. Yep. Might as well. And then later you'll have it all ready to go. Whether you're doing like a card or something to add to a scrapbook, chart, journal, whatever it is. The struggle <laughs> is worth it. Work out. It's worth it. Okay. So now I have this, so the next thing I can do, I need a little surface, a little plastic surface I'll do, that's fine. Well, maybe this. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of this gilding glue. Wow, wow. You're super fast. Technique number three over here. Wow, I'm on my first one. Well, I was waiting for my glue to dry. Yeah. Okay, so here's my butterfly, and I just kind of rubbed it all on with my fingers. Look at that. Shiny, cute. And now I'm going to take it and use this paint dauber to just lightly go over it. It'll get mostly the raised surface areas. I'm trying to get some of my pieces that are all over here. And rubbing it off. You can also use um, a brush to rub it off too, but um, fingers are nice because it kind of presses the foil into it. Yeah. 
So if you want more foil to stay on, I feel like fingers are a little better. But if you want more of it off, then I feel like a brush would be better. I don't know. Kind of depends. So for this, I actually want a little bit more. So I'm grabbing a clean brush and just brush it off. Dry, dry brushing it off. So for this, I'm using a foil sheet. So this, like I said, this one's my favorite way to use the foil mm -hmm. sheets because you can just press it on and then you just get a little bit on the, on the raised surfaces mm -hmm. and you can so repeat good. as many times and go over it more and more. And I think it, it's a little more subtle, mm -hmm. I like it. but it's really good. my little leaves, foil. So then you can see each time I add, it takes a little bit more off. Mm -hmm. So you can really see that image that I used there. And that's so pretty for, for a card, mm -hmm. for art journal, scrapbook page, whatever you want. It will also show, you can do the same thing just with foil flakes and get a much more intense mm -hmm. look of it. So I'll just use the back side here. So I'm adding the glue to it the exact same way. I'm getting this foil everywhere. It's like all over me. Only <laughs> adding it to a little bit of Here's it. my rose. Isn't that cute? So it just, you know, gives mm -hmm. a little pop of something. It's interesting. All right. I'll use this color. Let me get some green out. Color here. Oh. I can get it out. So you can see it a little bit. It kind of, um, like I said, it's a much more intense version. Yeah. That's another way. So it it still has that embossed look, but it's mm -hmm. just it's very it's shiny. Very shiny. So I like this side. Mm -hmm. I, I really like, like I really like that subtle look. Mm -hmm. But so that's a different look with, with the foil sheets versus the foil flakes. Foil flakes. flakes. So now I got my greenery here. Right. I'm like, <laughs> and it, 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 it's, it's everywhere. Got a lot. <laughs> it's everywhere. Okay. I'm definitely breathing some in. That's okay. Next, I'm going to use it with a stencil. Mm. So, same thing. I got, cute. got the stencil out here. I'm going to use this gilding glue again. The gilding glue is probably my top pick for yeah. um, using foil. And I'm just going to stamp it over the stencil using the same paint bobber. Mm -hmm. I know the Sizzix Express glue also is good for this. Um, yeah, you want a glue that stays tacky. Mm -hmm. It looks like Christmas right here. Yeah, it does. That green. Yeah. So rubbing that in my finger. I like how this turned out. I used the pink and the gold on that one. Isn't that cute little paint tube? And these pieces are all done to add to something like a card or my art journal, um, scrapbook page, 
just to give a little bit of shine and shimmer. I like it. Okay, next, I think I'm gonna do, um, I don't know, stamping. I feel like I should clean up my flakes just slightly. Baby wipes work great <laughs> to clean off all, all of this. Except some of it does not come off as easily. Woo! Got a lot of glitter over there. <laughs> just. Oh, yeah. So that's that's the look of it through stencil. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess I didn't do my gluing very good on this <laughs> one. But yeah. some of these, like, the rest of this design turned out pretty nice. That's how you use it with a stencil. Bit. Oh, I don't think there's any containing it. I think we're past containing We're past it. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Um, I really love the look of it on the black. But I also have um, just some... Oh, it's my eyes. <laughs> I know. I, it's, I'm definitely breathing it in. I wanted to try and see what it looked like on um, just craft paper. This is um, came in like a card pack. Card and envelope. So it's just plain craft. And so let's dress this up. Um, I think the foil quilt is here. Yep, that's pretty. That's good. Temperature. What do I want to do? What did I say? Stamp. That's what I said. So I'm going to use it with a stencil again and a foil sheet. The nice thing with the foil sheets is you really can like use them multiple times. Mm -hmm. There's like a dull side and a bright side and you want the bright side to be facing up. So here I can literally write whatever. Here's my name. I think this heart would be super cute for foil. You know, for Valentine's Day. Take a real Valentine's Day card. Or you can do this with the stencil. It does not melt the stencil, even though it's hot. You don't have to worry about which that. Is good. Hot like, enough to work, not hot yeah. enough to melt. Which I like that being able to use a stencil. Yeah. I can't. If you're not like with free, free hand. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now I need this. So I'm going to use the embossing ink pad with up. the sticky embossing powder. So what? I like what Jess did earlier. So this is, this is just a super quick technique oh. and you can add little bits here and there so I'll go with the snowflake add more snowflakes if you're a doodler I oh, yeah. I think this would be great this is gonna be interesting too um there's just flakes everywhere <laughs> but there's also different okay. tips with this oh. um so there's like if you do calligraphy, oh, you can right. do, like, yeah, there's a, a chisel one. tip. Um, there's a there's one that's called a calligraphy tip. Nice. Yeah, I think it's pink. Or the packaging's pink. I'm going to Oh yeah, that's just a fun a little add-on. I forget to use this all the time, but yeah. I should definitely use it more because it's just really easy. You just heat up or charge this, mm -hmm. and then once it's ready, you unplug it and plug this in, and then it just starts heating up. Mm -hmm. This does not stamp all the weird things. Okay, another. I'm gonna do another one just in case that one's work. Another favorite technique is to use cherry tape. <gasps> yes. So. And this is a super easy one and it works for like a lot of things. If you want to just make a line like for your card or on like the edge of something or like if you want to make a border around your photo or something, mm -hmm. just lay out a line of cherry tape. Take this off and then you have a perfectly straight line 
that is ready for some oil. We are putting on the foil flakes. I'll also do a line using the foil sheet so you can see the difference. And brush off the extra. And there we have a perfect line. Oh, that's, that's a good technique too. Okay, and now same thing, just with the sheet. Again, the sheet isn't as vibrant, but it still shows up pretty well. Okay, and actually with this sheet, uh, if you want to make sure it has like full contact, you can actually run it through the... Um, your die cutting machine. So I think that's what I'll do. So I've got it here and I'm just going to press it. Am I doing this wrong? No. <laughs> Those shiny, shiny side up. Oh, there you go. Well, I got a pretty hard on. Um, Is that with the sticky? Yeah. But what did you guys do? Plant, you missed it. We got out all the foil. All the foil. So it's not glitter, but it sure does look like it. Okay. So here is it with the foil sheet. Mm -hmm. So it's just a little bit different look, but both I think are a nice line mm -hmm. and look pretty good. And that's nice because you can choose yeah, like a, what kind of look you want. What kind of look and um, also if you want a thicker line, you use a thicker piece of tape. Mm -hmm. So, we've come in a lot of different. I don't really love it. No. Just pretend that didn't happen. It'll be better next time. Hang on. I'm going to do something else. All right. I also want to show if you want some foiled alphas. So, you can take your alpha. Oh, I'm going to use some of my Z's. What else is a nut? A V maybe? The letters don't use. Yeah, I'll do a good Z. And I'm putting, this is actually a sheet from another sticker book. So it's, so stickers don't stick on it. So it's good for this. I'll do a, a different stamp. Maybe a W, a Z and a W. Oh. So you, I'm just trying to think of ones that you don't use very much. So here, again, I could do the um, gilding glue and use the paint dauber to daub around it. I'm just going to take this paint pen and go over it. Right, the one I'll do with a foil sheet, and then the other one I'll do with the, the other foil, so you can see the difference. And again, you could run this through the die cut machine again. Actually, it needs to dry first. Doing some floral leaf, I don't know. Something. That looks better. Those stamped better than like the big 
heart. I think I need um, stamping help <laughs> with that. Okay, so I used the embossing pad, and I'm using the sticky embossing powder. And I got a blue flake on there. Get that off. I'm going to brush off the extra. So here's my Z. Good. I'll put it on this black so you can see it. And I'm going to heat it. Boil all over me. Oh. <laughs> and here's my W. See, the W didn't go all the way. Mm. I could put it through the die cut machine and I think it would pick up even more. You can also do multiple layers or this could be just the look that you want. Mm -hmm. um, like not a full I'm coverage thing. This, um, so silver and gold one. So this is good for, um, like if you want to change the color of your alphas, because this foil comes in all different colors. So this is with the foil flakes and the W is with the foil sheet. Mm -hmm. So, place up your alphas. Yeah. I just noticed you wearing black today. Yeah. Black color. You're just <laughs> gonna see all the foil on yep. you. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, I think that was all the techniques I, I had to show. Yeah. There I was a lot gonna... of them. Yeah, you were whipping through them. I was like, I just, I wanted, oh. I didn't want to miss any of them. So we did embossing powder, uh, clear embossing powder. Then you draw inside of the lines of the clear embossing powder. Uh, this is with a stencil, so you use a dauber to add the paint. And then the flakes, or the foil flakes. Um, got a lot of them on this one. Here's with the sticky embossing powder. That's what you're working on now. Mm -hmm. Wait, I realize I should not stamp. Why well, did like leaves right next to mm -hmm. my flower, and you can't really tell mm -hmm. that's what that is. So I guess I should just let the flower. Okay, we got the foil quill. Uh, Cherry tape one line using the foil sheet and then the other one foil flakes. And then same with my alphas down here. So which I like that better. Which of these techniques do you guys think you would use? Yeah. What is your favorite? I think I should have scooted my leaves over a tiny bit mm -hmm. so they're not so mm -hmm. connected to my flower. That's okay. It just takes kind of some playing with, mm -hmm. experimenting of um, like what stamps work the best with it and what don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think with stamps you want things that aren't so detailed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think these ones, the, like the... Oh yeah, the just like words. Ones. Yeah, those would probably be better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm gonna try. That one did not work great. You need um, because it's hard to get that metal. Oh, yeah. I remember the stamp. I love oh. that stamp. Though, I do really I like the stamp. Do it very good. I'm gonna try it. Anyways. <laughs> Challenge. If you have tips on how to get that, get that better, mm -hmm. let me know quickly. Quickly. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a little XOXO. Those Valentines. Okay, might be okay. Eat it. Where's the lid? Grab the lid. Yeah, I do like this sticky embossing powder. I haven't used this before. Yeah, it's I like it. It's cool. And then next it's XOXO. I feel like it should be red. 
It didn't stamp perfectly. Did you get more in the middle though? I got more in the middle. Oh, oh yeah, that looks a lot better than mine. I don't think I put enough ink in my middle. Mm. So I want to try it with the black stamp just to compare. Oh, I like that red. This red looks really That's nice. That's a nice pop. Oh yeah, that didn't stamp as good there. No. That's I mean, fine. it still looks oh, nice. I'll go with it. Yeah. Let's see how they both look. Yeah, I got some. Not over there, but. Actually. I mean, it's not super clean because, well, I was doing it quickly, but. <laughs> look at that. I like that red. Cute. In a more controlled area with less yeah. oil everywhere. That's crazy. Turn out a little bit better. I think I'll use some of this pink foil. Let's see, where do I want the pink foil? Let me dry this all the way. <laughs> And I'm going to send this through the um, the Sizzix Big Shot oh. with the sheet because I think it'll turn out better. Oh yeah, nice. Let's do both of them. There it is. Um, and you can see, pull it up. So you can see it without the going through the machine. It does pick up a little bit, but I think it'll get better. Right. With it really pressed. With, with it, yeah. Pressed. If it really has some even pressure. Oh, you didn't put it on that. That Ooh. could have been bad. Where is the lid? Um, good question. Just put it there. Well, there it is. No, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna need a vacuum after this. <laughs> we're getting more discovered. <laughs> oh. Now, is this better or worse than glitter? Ooh, I almost think worse. I don't know. Because this, it's like it's so it, like, light. Flies. It flies. Yeah, yeah, it's light and fluffy and flies in the air. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, yeah. it's okay. It's it's just okay. I like it. I think the black one's okay. This one, um, yeah, it, it didn't it, it didn't yeah. ink that great. But I like it on the black. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's more with the stamp and our table. Yeah, our table's not. Our like table is really most. bad for stamping, especially the bigger bigger stamps. And I always forget that every single time. Yeah. And I still try because to it's it's, it's like it's kind of soft. Yeah. So and it's not perfectly flat. Either. Yeah. So you can't get like a smooth even. We should have a different table. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay, I think that's all we have for yeah. today. Um, we hope we have inspired you to do some different foiling. Um, I really like how these turned out. Mm -hmm. And then I don't, I don't love those, but that's I really okay. like that. I like this. I like yeah. the red on the craft. That looks yeah. nice. I could see using that for Valentine's Day. Um, and yeah, you just have to be careful what stamps you use because they just, some of them just don't look good. Yeah. I think of a more of like an outlined flower mm -hmm. would be better. Mm -hmm. That's what I should have A less used. detailed flower. Yeah. yeah. Um, Okay. Well, me too. Do you know how to reach the camera? I'll try. <laughs> okay. If so, if weird things happen, that's because I don't know. Okay. Something. But okay. We're, we're going to try to switch, switch the view. In the meantime, just admire 
Oh, I think it's, yep. Is you got that better? It. I think so. Okay, cool. Did it. All right. Well, thanks for thanks joining for our oily mess. <laughs> so much yeah, everywhere. But I hope we gave you some ideas of what to use with your foil. I know I've heard people say that they didn't even know that they could use foil unless it was like hot foiling. Oh, yeah. So these are all things that you can do without a hot foil. Cold foiling. Yeah. <laughs> Cold foiling. Cold foiling techniques. Yeah. And yeah, gluing and embossing and yeah, lots of fun. Yeah. Okay. See you next time. Thanks for joining. Bye.